Okay, I want to show you now how we send our build artifact from TeamCity to Octopus Deploy. The first thing we need is a plugin to be installed on TeamCity so that it can connect to Octopus Deploy. And to do that, you need to have administrative privileges. If you do have the administrative privileges, then you will see this administration menu on the top right side of the screen. So if you click on it, on the left side of the screen, right at the bottom, there is a plugins list. TeamCity comes with a lot of plugins and every plugin does a job. Some plugins come out of the box, but you have the option to add more plugins. So to see the plugins that are offered by JetBrains Marketplace, we can click on browse plugins and then it will go to JetBrains website and now we can search for plugin which is Octopus just type Octopus and then you will get Octopus Deploy integration which is provided by Octopus Deploy company and to get that click on get button and say install it to my TeamCity instance and then click on install and then click on enable uploaded plugins and we are done now, in order to send this package to Octopus Deploy, we need API key from Octopus Deploy. So we go back to Octopus Deploy. API keys are bound to users. So it's recommended that you create a user that is specifically for providing API keys and performing system tasks and operations rather than being bound to an actual user. And for now, for this lecture, I just use the only user that I have in my local Octopus Deploy. So in in order to create an API key, you have to go to the profile page of a user that is supposed to link Octopus Deploy to TeamCity. And in the profile page, you will see a tab called My API Keys. And you click on New API Key. And purpose, we can say, for example, TeamCity or TeamCity Connector. Click on Generate New, and that gives you the API key. You have to store this API key somewhere because this is the only time you see it. You have to put it somewhere safe. And then we go back to Team City, and we have to go back and change our build configuration. In the build configuration, in fact, I'm going to clone this page because we need this definition. So in the build steps, we had some build steps. For example, we restore dependencies, we package the code. We need to add an extra build step, and that build step is Octopus Deploy, and we can choose the one that says Publish Packages. And we can give it a name, which is, for example, push to Octopus, something like this. Octopus URL is basically just your Octopus URL, as the name implies. And API key should be pasted here. Space name is basically what you see here. As I said, in the paid version of Octopus Deploy, you can have multiple spaces. Every space has its own library. So you have to provide what space we want to push this to. And that is for us default. If you leave it blank, it will send it to default anyway, but it's recommended that you type it in here. And now you need package paths. Package paths is basically whatever you define in artifact path in general settings. That's the definition of your package. You can use it in here as well. So you put exact same formula here. Plus means add, minus means remove. And we can say add anything that is in build folder to a zip file that starts with repository name. The version is anything after dot, as I said, which includes build number, hyphen, brand and the branch is the selector. You can show advanced options and in the advanced options there is a checkbox that says publish packages as build artifacts. You can check one as well and save and then you can instead remove anything that you have in artifact path. I remove this normally because it may become confusing if you have two definitions for the package artifact. This push to octopus. If you check this publish packages as build artifact fact will populate the artifact as well so you don't need to have an artifact path in the general settings that's why i remove that and we just click on save now we can run a build of custom build or normal build and say like our branch is uh, master or rc doesn't matter let's say rc when you um, specify branch like this make sure that no branch is selected here by team city otherwise this branch will be preferred and then we click on build let's go to agent and see the build that is running it's this build 
Okay, so the build is successful. If I go to build log, there is step three of three and it says octopus deploy is pushing your package to octopus deploy it says the name of the package is crcd demo and version is a number dash rc now if we go back to our octopus deploy and i go to library i have a package here which is cicd demo and the package version is a number dash rc and rc is the branch if i click on this it gives me extra information including for example size of the package extension of the package and things like that you can push some extra information to octopus deploy this is not mandatory but you can do that if you want to to do that we can go to build a step and we can add an extra step which is octopus deploy build information and we can say publish metadata octopus url is this url and the space name is default the exact same package format that we used for publishing the package to octopus deploy we can use that package id should be the name of the package and package version should be the version part of it so if i open the team ct build the step of publishing the package to octopus deploy we said that our package name is always just the repository name so you just need that and then the package version is build number and the branch and we can click on save and then if i run this again it's going to push it to octopus deploy so let's go to build a log so dotnet build is running now in your case, it might be like Java or PHP, it doesn't matter. We are publishing the Octopus Deploy package done and we are publishing metadata now. Okay, so build finished and now we should have extra build information in Octopus Deploy. In order to open Octopus Deploy, you can do it directly from the log like this. And if we go to library, I still have the same package, which was CICD demo with a different version. If I go to the version in build information, I have some extra information, which if I click on this, it can take me back to Team City and show me the build that which build basically created this package, what branch and at which date and time. It gives you some extra information. You may need this information if you want to implement some sort of change management process. It's good to have. It's not necessary to have. I hope that you enjoyed this. In the next lecture, we will create an Octopus Deploy project and we deploy our package to a server.